Today is Saturday, October 23rd, 2021. The bipartisan infrastructure bill and the Democrat-only Build Back Better spending, spending plan next week. Here's what we know so far about some of the main programs that are staying and that are going. What's likely to stay in the bill is a federal four-week paid family medical leave plan. That's down from the initially proposed 12 weeks. Universal pre-K, child tax credits uh, are being extended uh, by one year. There's going to be possible $800 vouchers to cover dental costs, funding for child, cent child care centers, and increases to Pell Grants. There's also going to be unspecified climate change funding, but there have been some big cuts to it. Elder care provisions are also staying, uh, but here's what's likely to be left out of the plan. Free community college, expanded Medicare coverage that includes dental, vision, and hearing, clean electricity performance program, that's the one that uh, Joe Manchin didn't want to support, and tax rate hikes on corporations and top income earners. Joining me now to discuss this is Tara Palmieri. She's a co-author of the political uh, playbook. Tara, good morning to you. Good to see you. I just mentioned Joe Manchin not wanting to uh, support a lot of clean energy stuff because he comes from a state that does a lot of coal. There is some new reporting now that Joe Manchin has seriously actually considered